Up to this point, you should have a fair understanding of how to find derivatives of functions. Usually these functions are written as f of x and you'll find f prime of x, or equivalently the function may be called y and you'll find y prime, where f of x or y is always written in terms of x. Sometimes though you may need to take the derivative of a function that is not in this format. For example, the relation 2xy minus y squared equals 5x features multiple y's and cannot be rearranged to the regular y equals format. Even so, using a process called implicit differentiation, we can find the derivative dy over dx. As I mentioned before, many of the functions that require implicit differentiation are not functions at all, because they often cannot be expressed in the regular y equals format and consequently do not pass the vertical line test. For this reason, it is more appropriate to call such equations relations instead of functions. Let's start by considering the relation 6xy minus x squared equals 3y and finding dy over dx through the process of implicit differentiation. To do this, we will want to take the derivative of each term in the relation. We can start by writing d over dx in front of every single term. Remember, d over dx is just a notation for saying take the derivative with respect to x. When we do this, we'll get d over dx of 6xy minus d over dx of x squared equals d over dx of 3y. The second step in implicit differentiation is taking each of these derivatives. Let's look at these derivatives one at a time. First, we have the derivative of 6xy with respect to x. How can we take the derivative with respect to x if we have a y though? To do this, we remember that when we talk about y, we typically are talking about y itself being a function of x. With implicit differentiation, the same idea applies. We are going to consider all y's to be implicit functions of x. For this term then, we have 6x times a function of x. As with derivatives of other products, this calls for the product rule. So first times the derivative of the second will give us 6x times dy over dx. Because d over dx of y can be written as dy over dx. Continuing with the product rule, we add second times the derivative of the first. So we'll add second, which is y, times the derivative of 6x, which is 6. So that'll give us 6y. Putting these together, we then have 6x dy over dx plus 6y as the derivative of the first term. The next derivative is the derivative of x squared. Since this term doesn't have any y's, we can just take its derivative normally and get minus 2x. On the right side, we have the derivative of 3y. Remember, since the derivative of y is dy over dx, we will get 3 dy over dx. Putting all the pieces together, we now have 6x dy over dx plus 6y minus 2x equals 3 dy over dx. Time for the third and final step of implicit differentiation. Since the goal is finding dy over dx, we now just need to isolate dy over dx on one side of the equation. So let's move 6x dy over dx to the other side of the equation so we can have all the dy over dx's together. To do this, we'll subtract 6x dy over dx from both sides of the equation. So we'll subtract it from the left over here, and we'll subtract it from the right over here, and that'll give us 6y minus 2x is equal to 3 dy over dx minus 6x dy over dx. From here, we can factor out the dy over dx's and we'll get 6y minus 2x is equal to dy over dx times 3 minus 6x. Then we'll divide both sides by 3 minus 6x. When we do this, that'll leave us with dy over dx on the right side is equal to 6y minus 2x over 3 minus 6x. And just like that, we have the solution. The three steps of implicit differentiation are writing d over dx in front of each term, taking the derivative of each term with respect to x, and then solving for dy over dx. 
Let's try this with another example. Use implicit differentiation to find dy over dx for the relation y cubed minus 4x is equal to xy. Just like in the last example, we can start the implicit differentiation process by writing d over dx in front of each term. This will give us d over dx of y cubed minus d over dx of 4x is equal to d over dx of xy. Next, we need to take the derivative of each term with respect to x. Notice that the first term is y cubed. This is different from y to the first power, which we could take the derivative of just by writing dy over dx. Because we are taking the derivative with respect to x, we have to be careful and remember that y is a function of x. In the first term, we are essentially seeing a function y inside another function, a cube. Sound familiar? Because we have a function inside a function, we need to use the chain rule for this term. Remember, the chain rule says that the derivative of a composite function, f of g of x, is equal to the derivative of the outside function with the inside function unchanged times the derivative of the inside function. So in this problem, the derivative of y cubed with respect to x is equal to the derivative of the outer cubed function, 3y squared, times the derivative of the inner function y. So we'll write that as 3y squared times the derivative of y, which is dy over dx. This is a very important step to remember with implicit differentiation since it comes up quite frequently. In fact, any time you have to take the derivative of a term involving y to some power other than 1, you'll need to use the chain rule and multiply by dy over dx. Let's take the derivatives of the other terms now. The derivative of negative 4x with respect to x is, of course, minus 4. And then on the right side, the derivative of xy with respect to x can be found using the product rule. First times the derivative of the second gives us x times dy over dx plus second times the derivative of the first. So we'll get y times 1, which is just y. So putting everything together, we now have 3y squared dy over dx minus 4 is equal to x dy over dx plus y. The final step of implicit differentiation is solving this equation for dy over dx. To do this, let's move x dy over dx to the left side and move the minus 4 to the right side. By subtracting x dy over dx from both sides and adding 4 to both sides, we'll get the next step in our problem. So we'll subtract x dy over dx from both sides and add 4 to both sides. This will give us 3y squared dy over dx minus x dy over dx is equal to y plus 4. Now let's factor out dy over dx from both terms on the left side. So dy over dx times 3y squared minus x is equal to y plus 4. Finally, we can get dy over dx by itself by dividing both sides by 3y squared minus x. So we'll do that on both sides and get that dy over dx is equal to y plus 4 over 3y squared minus x. You may have noticed that both the solutions in this lesson so far have included the letter y in the derivative. This is nothing to be worried about though and is just a consequence of how implicit differentiation works. Rest assured, as long as you follow the three steps properly and remember the chain rule where applicable, you'll be on the right track. Let's work through one more example. Use implicit differentiation to find dy over dx for the relation sine of y squared is equal to 5x squared plus y. First, we can start by writing d over dx in front of each term. So we'll have d over dx of sine of y squared is equal to d over dx of 5x squared plus d over dx of y. The first term is going to be the trickiest. Because we have a function y squared inside the sine function, we're going to need the chain rule. The derivative of the outside will be cosine, 
So we're going to have cosine of y squared times the derivative of the inside. So let's write that step out. So we'll have cosine of y squared times the derivative of y squared. And then the right side will stay the same for right now. We're not working with that part yet. But what is the derivative of y squared with respect to x? Since y is not to the first power, we are actually going to need to use the chain rule a second time. Now the outer function is the square, while the inner function is y. So the derivative of y squared with respect to x will be 2y times dy over dx. So we'll have cosine of y squared times 2y dy over dx is equal to d over dx of 5x squared plus d over dx of y. We can now rearrange this a little bit on the left side and we'll get 2y cosine of y squared dy over dx. And again, the right side is just going to stay the same. We'll handle that in just a second. Fortunately, the other two derivatives in this problem are much simpler. We, of course, know that the derivative of 5x squared is 10x. So we'll have 2y times the cosine of y squared times dy over dx is equal to 10x plus the derivative of y is just written as dy over dx. So we'll have plus dy over dx. So overall, we now have 2y cosine of y squared dy over dx is equal to 10x plus dy over dx. The final step is once again to solve for dy over dx. To do this, let's subtract dy over dx from the right side and move it to the left side. So we'll subtract dy over dx from both sides of our equation. That will give us 2y times the cosine of y squared dy over dx minus dy over dx is equal to 10x. Then we can factor out dy over dx from the terms on the left side to get dy over dx times 2y cosine of y squared minus 1 is equal to 10x. Dividing both sides by 2y cosine of y squared minus 1 will then get our solution. So we're going divide, to divide both of our sides by 2y times the cosine of y squared minus 1. And that will give us dy over dx is equal to 10x over 2y times the cosine of y squared minus 1. And that's our final answer. Implicit differentiation can seem like a weird and tricky topic in calculus, but keep in mind the three main steps. First, write d over dx in front of all terms in the relation. Second, take the derivative of each term, taking special care to remember that y is a function of x and will often require the chain rule for proper execution. And third, solve the resulting equation for dy over dx. As always, with a little practice, you should feel more and more confident with implicit differentiation. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and happy studying.